says we're live. They don't see us. There we are. Hello. Good morning, everyone who is here or everyone who's not here. Yeah, we have gotten a lot of cousins since this whole time has started. <clears throat> Good morning, Betsy Randall. Good morning, Amanda. Yes, Can y'all hear us and see us? What about our, our uh, volume? Good morning, Amanda. Um, do we need to check our volume? Make sure the volume's on. I just, it went, I just heard it. Oh, oh. Good morning, Carissa. Good morning, Kay. We're all good. Good morning, Ben. All right, so we're going to start with uh, him, um, him 400, All Creatures of Our God and King. And um, actually, he didn't introduce us. You're right. So uh, this is my wife, Rita. I'm Neil Michelle. We're glad to have you here for Morning Prayer, sponsored by the Episcopal uh, Church of the Epiphany in Richardson, Texas. So we'd like to start off our uh, morning prayer with a hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King, on page 400 of the hymnal. And we will do uh, the first four verses, the ones that are not asterisked. Number one, four, five, and seven. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices, let us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Bright bursting sun with golden beam, pale silver moon that gently gleams. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Dear Mother Earth, you day by day unfold your blessings on our way. Oh, praise Him, hallelujah. All flowers and fruits that in you grow. Let them his glory oh, 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 praise him, oh, praise him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All you with mercy in your heart, forgiving others, take your part. Oh, sing now, hallelujah. All you that pain and sorrow bear, praise God and rest on Him your care. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Their Creator bless and worship Him in humbleness. Oh, praise Him, Alleluia! Praise God the Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit, three in one. Oh, praise, oh, praise Him, Alleluia! Now we continue with the uh, confession of sin. You'll find it on page 79. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. 
let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now let's say together the Jubilate. You'll find it on page 82 in the Book of Common Prayer, page 82. Be, be joyful, joyful in the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 131, 132, and 133, which can be found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 785. 131 through 133 on page 785 will read by whole verse. O oh Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with the great with great matters or with things that are too hard for me. But I still my soul and make it quiet, like a child expressed. My soul is quieted within me. O Israel, wait upon the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured. How he swore an oath to the Lord and vowed a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not come under the roof of my house nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep nor let my eyelids slumber until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The ark, we heard it was in Ephrata. We found it in the field of Jerem. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your faithful pe people sing with joy. For you... <clears throat> For your servant David's sake, do not turn away your face from your people. The Lord has sworn an oath to David. In truth, he will not break it. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children will sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired her for his habitation. This shall be my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will surely bring visions and satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will rejoice and sing. There will I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. As for his enemies, I will clothe them with shame, but as for him, 
his crown will shine. Oh, how good and pleasant it is when brethren live together in unity. It is like fine oil upon the head that runs down upon the beard. Upon the beard of Aaron and runs down upon the collar of his robe. It is like the dew of Hermon that falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord has obtained the blessing, life forevermore. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verses 11 through 26. Numbers chapter 23, verses 11 through 26. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, Must I not speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? Then Balak said to him, Come with me to another place where you can see them. You will see only a part, but not all of them. And from there, curse them for me. So he took him to the field of Zophim on the top of Pisgah. And there he built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, Stay here beside your offering while I meet with him over there. The Lord met with Balaam and put a message in his mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him this message. So he went to him and found him standing beside his offering with the princes of Moab. Balak asked him, What did the Lord say? Then he uttered his oracle. Arise, listen, hear me, son of Zippor. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed, and I cannot change it. No misfortune is seen in Jacob, no misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. They had the strength of a wild ox. There is no sorcery against Jacob. No divination against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel, See what God has done. The people rise like a lioness. They rouse themselves like a lion that does not rest till he devours his prey and drinks the blood of his victims. Then Balak said to Balaam, Neither curse them at all nor bless them at all. Balaam answered, did I not tell you I must do whatever the Lord says? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And now let's say together, canticle number eight, found on page 85, the Song of Moses, page 85. I, I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariot and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. The Lord has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you have brought them in safety. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our epistle reading is from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. Romans, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law was powerless to do in that it was weakened by the sinful nature, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful man to be a sin offering. And so his, he condemned sin in sinful man in order that the righteous requirements of the law might be fully met in us who do not live according to the sinful nature, but according to the spirit. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what their, that nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. The sinful mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those controlled by the sinful nature cannot please God. You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the Spirit, if the Spirit of God lives in you. And if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin, yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us say together canticle number 19, found on page 94, the Song of the Redeemed, page 94. O, o ruler of the universe, universe Lord God, God, great deeds are they that you have done, done surpassing human understanding. understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel reading is from the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. Then he sent some more servants and said, Tell those who have been invited that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fattened cat cattle have been butchered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they paid no attention and went off one to his field, another to his business. The rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not deserve to come. Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, both and the wedding guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. Friend, he asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? The man was Then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are invited, but few are chosen. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. We turn now to page 96 for the Apostles' Creed. Page 96, let us say it together. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A, just below that. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. As we our prayer time uh, with the colics, uh, we invite you to your prayer requests and we will pray for those uh, during this service. Uh, should we omit any for whatever reason, uh, they are being recorded and are being sent out to a whole slew of intercessors. So we are being undergirded by prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbors. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now a collect for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now a prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which you offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Father, we come to you as your children in this day. We rejoice that we have such a God, such a Heavenly Father, who hears our prayers, who teaches us to pray. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your sovereignty. We thank you that you hold us in the palm of your hand and that all of our days are recorded in your book. We thank you that we are the apple of your eye, that you never sleep or slumber, but that you're always at work. Lord, we thank you that even in these days of trouble, that you still command us to seek first your kingdom. Father, we pray that all throughout this day, we would seek first your kingdom, that we would seek your face, that we would seek to be in your presence, that we call upon you in all manner of prayer, that we would spend time in your word, Lord, that we would love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength and love our neighbors as ourselves. 
Lord, we pray in this time of trouble, in this time of crisis, that we will turn to you in every area of our lives, surrender ourselves to you. Forgive us, O Lord, for trying to live our lives in our own strength. Forgive us for our pride and prayerlessness. Forgive us for our lack of faith and trust in you. Teach us, O Lord, draw us by your Holy Spirit into a greater and greater dependence upon you. Lord, open our eyes that we might see those around us who do not know you, those around us in need, our neighbors, our family, our friends, the stranger. Lord, let us be responsive to the needs of others in this time. We lift up Ramunda. We thank you, Lord God, for sparing his life, and we speak life into his body in Jesus' name to raise him up and to mend the, the bones in his back. For his sister Cindy, we pray for Mimi and for Patrick for healing. Lord, you are our healer, and we declare your healing powers flowing into them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up Vien, that she seeks the Lord in all his ways, that the good work he began in her by the power of the Holy Spirit will continue for the sake of the gospel and for her knowledge of the truth of God's love and him mighty works. We thank you for your care. We pray for the repose of the soul of Dorothy Jean Riddell Martin. We pray for her grieving children, Bill, Randy, and Janice. Lord, we thank you for receiving this one of your own, this one of your lambs into your presence. We thank you, and we pray for the children that they will um, be able to and give thanks for her life. We pray for healing for Federico, Jose's uncle in ICU with COVID, and peace for um, the father-in-law, Carlos. Lord, send your, send your healing angels into the hospital room right now. We speak to his body to fight off this virus, and we command the virus to shrivel and die and be cast away from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks for morning prayer. We give you thanks for this opportunity for us to gather in prayer morning, noon, and night, and all in between, Lord. We thank you that you hear our prayers, and where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in our midst, listening and responding. Thank you, God, for the ministry of Epiphany, for our church family, for Mother Betsy, for Ken and David, all of the leaders, uh, the staff that continue to carry on much ministry. And we pray that your people will be responsive to you and to the needs of others. We pray for our country, for peace, for our president and all those in authority. We ask you to give them wisdom. We ask you to give wisdom to those that are dealing with the surge in the virus here in our own city and state and around the country. We pray for all of our health care workers, all those that are on the front line of ministering to those who are sick and suffering. We pray for the sick and suffering, that they would turn to you and find their hope and healing in you. And Lord, for the dying, that they would call upon your name, that we would cry out to you. Lord, we thank you for this day and all that it brings to us. And we pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now let us say together the general thanksgiving. You'll find that on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 101. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, we your unworthy servants, servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies 
that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. Through your well-beloved Son, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning for morning prayer. We have noonday prayer beginning at 1210 today and every day, Compline at 8 p.m. And then we have Sunday morning service, Holy Communion at 8 a.m., 7 a.m., excuse me, in the parking lot, the north parking lot. Uh, on Sunday morning, no reservations, uh, bring your prayer book and a chair to sit in. And then we also, again, are online uh, at 10 a.m. On, on Facebook Live. And we have a, a whole slew of Sunday school classes that uh, are offered online. So please join us for those as well. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.